And ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our little break. Um, I'm really excited for what's about to uh, what's about to happen in the next few weeks. Uh, but before we get into any of that, with me as always is my AEW broadcast partner, Jamsaw. How are you tonight, sir? Well, as always, I'm phenomenal. That being said, I'm looking forward to seeing what SmackDown's got on the table for us tonight. Well, um, your home, well, your 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 favorite is starting out the night, going uh, up against Santino. Santino, <laughs> going up against a man that he picked out himself, Kenny Dykstra. So, god damn, yeah, he's he was looking forward to this, and Kenny accepted. So hopefully, uh. Hopefully this isn't... I guess it's because Santino's trying to find the spirit. Oh my god. <laughs> you are the master of the spirit. You must give it to Santino. <laughs> we will give you Cobra. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Kenny's gonna fly already. Holy shit. Maybe not. He seems to be like just chilling. Oh, no. Oh! And Santino had it scouted. Santino's the ma Italian stallion. Oh, no, Kenny. <laughs> oh, picking him up. Jet. Ooh. Oh, Kenny. <laughs> you bust on my face. Kenny of the Dykstra. Oh, Mr. Dyke. <laughs> oh. Ooh. There we go. Snap suplex. Nice snap Beautiful. suplex from uh, Santino Morella. If you were to... I, I have not asked you this at all. But how would you sum up the fighting style that is Santino Morella? Um, hmm. Well, I mean, it's it's technical to a degree. Yeah. It's uh, comical to another degree, and uh, unbelievable to the third degree. <laughs> but he's good at what he does, though. Oh, yeah, man. I would hate to take a Cobra to the face. Oh, my lord. Oh, do -do! get the trumpets. Hey, he was doing that before Xavier Woods brought a trombone into the mix. Exactly. Santino! Oh! Boom! Misses Ooh. it. You can't hit up the oh, Santino. Kenny, you're a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snake Eyes. It or is perfect. Snake Eyes for the Cobra. <laughs> there you go. Man, it seems like um, Santino is not really um, worried about uh, Dolph in the corner over there. Well, I mean, so far he hasn't been that active or done anything to really help Kenny in any way other than to give him moral support. So right. Until uh, until uh, Dolphy Boy actually does something, there's nothing to be concerned about. Oh, beautiful. Nice, nice, beautiful. Whoa! Oh, Santino. I'm him in the guts with that knee. Santino! Oh, no, oh. Kenny. Kenny, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Kenny, oh. oh, Kenny. No. <laughs> Damn. All right, so I forgot to... Because it is Santino, I got caught up in what's happening. Um, As always, we always spend the first match talking about select matches um that happens so. um so let me flip to my notes i'm so sorry i just got caught up in the hype of santino yeah santino always getting in the hypes um so i have a few matches shit santino huge elbow by dykstra Don onto the italian stallions gazalian <laughs> oh santino what are you thinking Oh fuck! Oh, Kenny! All right, so let's Don't see. Don't cover me, Kenny. This, Don't okay. cover me. Um, I, out. I wanted to talk about three matches. Um, powerhouse. Um, uh, bringing the belt back home by retaining, retaining. it. Yep. He retained it. He um, won it at the pay per view, and he uh, had a challenge against uh, Cage at uh, last night's uh, last night's Dynamite. Yes, sir. And he. You know my stance on him. How when he when he debuted, he was trying to be silly and he wasn't taking it seriously. Last night, he was being very very serious when it came to defending his title. Oh yeah, we saw a whole other side to Powerhouse Hobbs. 
Or as uh, Santini would call him, uh, Barras! <laughs> Come on the cup! <laughs> um, so, do you think that he's got a bright future on becoming the world champion? I think he, he's definitely on the right path. I don't think he's quite ready for that yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did show marked improvement yes. uh, over uh, over his previous matches, but I don't quite think he's at, at like, Chris Jericho's level yet. No, no, no. There's one man that is within the level of Chris, of, of Chris Jericho, and that is the Italian Stallion. <laughs> I thought you were going to say CM Punk, sure, yeah. I Let's actually thought you <laughs> were going to assume me saying Kazarni. That's who I thought you were going to think I was going to say. But no, it's Santino. Future, future, big gold champion. Well, he, he might be a future Omnibrand champion if he plays his cards right. Oh, too shit. So as of right now, if Santino were to wiggle his way in, it'd be Jericho, Gargano, uh, the Mystery Man for TNA and Santino Morello. That'd be a match. A two out of three Fatal 4-Way fall. Oh, that'd be delicious. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. It would be insanity. Oh, my lord. Oh, two count. Very slow two counts. It's looking like Kenny Dykstra does not have the juice. <laughs> um, the next match I wanted to talk to you about is uh, the three matches that I wanted to discuss. They involve... A form of a title. So the next match I wanted to talk to you was uh, Rosa. Shit! Boom! Oh, it might be over. Oh, taking him down. Going for the cover. Oh, did the cover put it away? Oh, oh no. no! Not quite. Only a two count. But I'm sure uh, Kenny Dykstra's got to be on his last wins. Yes. Um. So back. So back to what I was saying. Thunder Ro Rosa uh, coming in and securing her number one contender spot against Sheeta. What did you think? I thought she did a fantastic job. I was worried there for a few minutes, a few times when Sheeta had the bat and took it to her head that I thought, for sure, this is over. But uh, yep. Thunder yep. Rosa giving 120% like she always does. So who would she? So so who would you want to see her to go up against? Thunder Rosa? Yes, yep. Well, I'd like to see her go up against Anna and win the championship, and I think she would be an awesome AEW Women's Champ. But there's a a lot of good women talent right now, man. I've got uh, Penelope Ford, surprisingly, at the pay-per-view, yep. uh, fought her way to be in the final two. She lost out to Thunder Rosa, so even though she totally bombed all month long last month, you know, being able to go against that many women and do three eliminations from it as well out of the eight women... Oh, that, shit. That's not too shabby, so it's, she could be coming back with a little bit of a vengeance. Oh, Cobra, here we go. Cobra strikes Dwy. Oh, my number God. Two. Cobra number two. And his body just fucking deflated. Holy <laughs> shit. It pop him like a balloon. Damn, and Santino. Oh, my God. Santino, brother. He's Damn. moving along, man. I see. I see titles in his future. Ooh! All let's see. The, the 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 champions on the blue brand is Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle. So would it be smart if he were to go for a title, which is held by the entire Mem? Would it be smart for him to make a tag and go after Nash and Booker, or do you think he should take out Samoa Joe or Kurt Angle? Indeed. That's... I think uh, Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle. Oh, yeah. Santino deflates the entire mem. He just invades and takes everybody out. That would be nice, man. <laughs> just like, go, go right to your face. Go right to your face. Come here, Kurt Angles. Oh. But um, up next, we're going to talk about the last match, which is so something we don't do. We don't go into the second match with recapping what happened last, last night. But because we got caught, caught up in Santino, it kind of it led to that. Um, so before we talk about the last match I want to talk about, your boys, uh, the Dead Poets Society, going up against former champions, um, the Usos. Not, 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 uh, not, uh, they weren't the current former champions, but they did hold the titles once or twice. So, Dead Poets Society versus the Usos, what do you, uh expecting from this match well i'm really hoping to see dead poet society come out on top i think they deserve the win but i mean usos man they got that island magic that can just uh 
fuck you up out of nowhere. Oh yeah, they they oh. The Usos are fast, fucking strong, and they're calculated. They that they, they know the business. Do you think Oh yeah. Do you do you think that's just them or do you think it's because they they were born and bred in this business? Well, I think it's a bit of both, right? When you're around something, you just pick stuff up naturally. And given the fact that, genetically speaking, this uh, this sport has been in their bloodline for yep. generations, uh, it only makes sense that they would have harmony with the ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, Paul! Shit! Caught a corkscrew forearm. Um. So let's move on to the last match I wanted to discuss that happened l last night. Um... I called this... We don't need to talk about that. We do. I call this no, since, day, since day one of their running for the tag team titles. I called it that we're going to take it. And they beat Les Sex Gods twice. Twice. Yeah, but it took them like nine times. And listen, listen. If, if, if you don't succeed, try, try again. And that's what they did. Yeah, that's true. That's what they did. And I mean, I think... Chris was just like, fuck it, I don't care. Let them have the titles. They don't mean anything to us. Oh my god. But then what does that That's say? That's the way Chris rolls, man. <sighs> former um, Omnibrand champion. Not former. He former. still is Omnibrand. Nope, brand. former. Nope, former. Until there's another match, he is Listen, the we need to accept this now. We need to accept this now. No, that at Velocity's WrestleMania. Is at Velocity's WrestleMania. At Velocity's WrestleMania. Omni gonna brand title is on the line. He and he's going to drop it to either TNA. <laughs> well, yeah, definitely not freaking Kazarni, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, he will. Yes, he will. Uh, I have a feeling Kazarni's going to be in an accident before the show. Oh, no. Shit. It could happen, man. We'll see. We'll see. Whoop. Get. Okay. Well, you never know. Vince McMahon died in a car explosion and then showed up two weeks later. He so. did. He did. That's oh. when we should have known he made that deal with the devil. <laughs> he is the devil. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I know how to run a hell of a fucking operation. <laughs> oh. Why not just run hell? Ooh, nice. Oh, Paul, get back in there. Damn, take down on the outside. Oh, yeah, is this like one of those cases like we were talking about last night where every freaking week... <laughs> At show, least one count. of the matches that count out. Oh, Paul, get in there. Get in there. Stay in there, Paul. Ooh. You don't have nothing to prove, you fool. <laughs> you fool! You <laughs> fool! <laughs> what are you doing? This isn't even for the belts, is it? No, uh, no, uh, the current champion. That's right, Mem has him. Right? Yep, Mem, yep, Mem, Mem has complete fucking control of SmackDown. Don't fucking get it. Why Vince allowed this to happen, I have no fucking idea. We were fine with ECW. Uh, <laughs> you I'm don't! Sure, I'm sure he has his reasons to see no little bastard. Uh, Oh, Jimmy in. <laughs> Paul and Jimmy. Paul and Jimmy, Jimmy and Paul. <laughs> oh, nice scoop, slam, beautiful. Ooh, taking Paul London down to the canvas with a heavy oos. Oh. Whoop. Oh, DDT. Damn. Bam. Knocking him out, but he's. Got enough wherewithal to jump and make the hot tag to Brian. One. Oh. Uh, not even not even a two count yet. No. So Brian's got a lot more to prove before uh, before they're willing to back down. Yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh, now he's up to it too after only a couple more moves. Jimmy, you're fucking up. Jimmy be slipping. We'll start calling you slipping Jimmy. <laughs> Slippery when Jimmy. <laughs> Keep that Jimmy slippy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to think of how to work in Jiffy, uh, Jiffy peanut butter, but 
That. Oh, I thought Jiffy Lube. <laughs> <laughs> Jiffy Jimmy. Jiffy Jimmy Lube. <laughs> Luso. Jiffy Jimmy Luso. <laughs> oh, my lord. Man, I've been watching this show with my wife, and there's this character on it called Marco, and every time they go Marco, I have to go, Polo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't help it. Oh. Ooh, cover. Going for a cover, but Brian, I don't think he's taking enough nope. damage to really... No. Nope. One count. One count, two count, three Ooh. count, four. Ooh. Don't let him get the tag. Smart maneuver, keeping him away from the hot tag, and he might be far enough away from the opponent, but it looks like Jimmy's got a little steam back. See, that's what you get on SmackDown and not Steaming on the Jimmy. Monday... <laughs> See, that's what you get on SmackDown and not the Monday night show, is that we stop the hot tags. You guys just... You guys just let things just rock and roll over there. You mean, like, you, we keep the action rolling and you crawl around like a turtle? More or less, yeah. Hey! <laughs> That was a good move, though. Finally. <laughs> yeah, Shades of the Dead poets. Paul, Paul Wooden loves that move. And unfortunately, this time being the recipient, uh, uh, Brian is the recipient, and yes, they're sir. not part of the team that is doling it out. Oh, pick him! Oh shit, Brian! There, there you go. There you go. Jimmy Drip Drip in the ring. <laughs> Jimmy Drip Slip. Oh, he didn't Jimmy let him slip. <laughs> <laughs> One. Oh. Only two. It looked right. like London was ready to help if necessary, but he knew that his his compatriot, Brian Kendrick, was completely able to kick out of that on his own. Damn. So Dead Poets, uh, Dead Poets Society consists of one Paul and two Brian's. Yeah. Damn. It's that a Brian sandwich. Or is well, it... perhaps, man. Like, if there's enough room in the motel, why not? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whatever floats your boats, boys. Listen, brother, that's why they sign over to SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> it's like desperate times. <laughs> call for desperate measures. Do you, do you want to sign over to Brock's Smack, SmackDown? Well, what's it like? Have you ever watched Brokeback Mountain? Well, <laughs> yeah. well, Do you like Motel 6s? <laughs> <laughs> they, they keep the light on for you. Yeah. You should be watching that show Heels, man. It's been really good. It's I, I do, I do. You, you, you sent me the info and all that, and I, I gotta check it out. Whoop! Nice. Bam! Yeah, the episode last night actually had CM Punk in it. Not as CM Punk. He was playing, like, some down south wrestler, but really good stuff. Damn. Which, speaking of CM Punk, we have to talk about you using him at the pay-per-view for the first time and everything. How, how did it feel knowing that he's now a part of your roster and you and, and you can officially start using him? Well, it felt great, because, I mean, when I did have CM Punk before, we were WCW, yep. and we didn't quite have the same roster or feel, so I have a feeling that he'd thrive better in this environment than he ever did in WCW. What titles did he um, have in WCW? I don't know if he ever actually won a title. Damn. He was in a few matches for titles, but I, don't, I never think that he actually got his hands on the gold, or if he did, it was the, uh, the mid-card, so... Was probably the Intercontinental, I think I had at the time. Right. So he could be your next TNT champion. It's possible. He, could, he could be the next world champion. Ooh. Uh, well, maybe not the next. I don't think he's chasing the gold yet. I think he wants to establish himself yeah. as, a ma uh, as a major player, fight a bunch of, uh, uh, of people that uh, inspired him to get back into the business, have those kind of fantasy matches first, like his and then go after the gold. Like Kazarni. What? Who? You said people that, that inspire him, and I said like Kazarni. I don't even know who that is. Kazarni, for future world champion. Oh, you're talking about Jablarni. Oh I totally my lord. <laughs> oh. Slipped 
my mind. I, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, big, another Jimmy one. Jimmy Stupor kick to the face. Is he, but Brian letting him go for the hot tag, bringing the fresh opponent in. Oh, shit. Oof. Jay, holy shit. It's like a hurricane elbow to the face. DDT! Busting! Boom! Busting! Fuck. Open! Fuck. Woo! But able to fight out of it. Oh, not for long enough. Nope. Oh, he's... Shit. Ooh, tornado DDT from the corner ropes. Damn. Now, going... Going for that submission. Holy Jay, shit! Jay, a submission specialist? Oh my god. Nearly snapping his fucking back. You got to go high. So high. <laughs> Woo, nice. Nice heel kick. Beautiful. Yeah, taking him down again. But it looks like Jimmy Stern on the outside might be able to make it in time to make the save. Oh, and just he does. barely. If Jimmy hadn't got back in, Ryan would have had this one. Might have, yeah. I mean, they are the Dead Poets Society. Let, let, let me go back to my notes real quick. Um, dead Poets Society, um, all last month. Um, Winning dead, their matches? Yeah, I'm looking at their matches right now. Well, Dead Poets Society won the, the uh, uh, non-championship match against the main event militia at the Great American Bash, so... They're coming in this with like a lot Judas of. Judas effect. Did you see that? Brian I I saw nothing. Chris I saw Jericho's nothing. Move, I saw nothing. Knocking Jimmy or Jay the fuck out. I didn't. I didn't see anything, sir. I don't. I don't know should, what you're talking about. Open your eyes, man. You, know, <laughs> wipe, you get like some of that glasses spray and spray that on your monitor and go. <laughs> get it all nice and clean and shiny so you can see the action. Well. If you remember correctly, uh, the Go Home Show was a entire women's division match, and um, yep. uh, the Dead Poets Society had their, I don't know if you, you would call it a meeting, but they were in the boiler room, and Nash and Booker T stumbled upon them, and uh, called them weirdos and freaks and shit like that, and that caused them to have a non-titles match at the Great American Bash, and I mean, they won. So, yep. with them coming... the weirdos and freaks, man. That's what they do. I mean, but... Damn. So, if they won, you you got to admit that they, they do need a future world tag team title match. I do agree that that's definitely something that they should look into. Damn. Whoop. Put them back. Yeah. London in the center of the ring looking like the Usos now having the advantage. Is he calling for a finish? No. No. There you go. Pick him up. Boom. Bitch slap to the face. Yes, sir. Got fights out of it. Woo. Bam. Huge neck breaker. Bam. Woo. Nice. Oh, pick him up. Here we go. Here we go. Avalanche. A dead poet suplex, brother. Here we go. A yai Nice. Boom. Almost through the table. Nice. One day someone will be going through that table. I hope so. Oh, here we go. Let's play toss you into the steps nine times. Okay. <laughs> I want to play a game. It's a card. I toss you in the steps by Santino Marella. <laughs> Longest reigning icy champion. <laughs> Better than the honky tonk man. This is what's this uh, honky tonk man? <laughs> wow, shit. Another hurricane forearm to the face of Paul London, taking him down to the canvas. Yeah, this... Suffering like the poet he is, the little emo child. <laughs> oh! Drop kick to the crying face of uh, 
the sensitive soul. Were you an e emo kid back back in the school days? No, I was a I was an alternative slash punk slash metal. I guess oh, okay. I kind of went through certain phases, and I guess alternatives probably the one that I lean to the most because I like jeans and flannel. Uh huh. Like long hair and heavy music. Did you guys have Janko jeans in in Canada? Yeah, but I never wore those. Oh, man. I loved my Janko jeans, brother. I just love like a just a shitty ass bleach, <laughs> like like an acid wash pair of fucking jeans. And yeah. Nowadays I just wear blue jeans, you know, or black jeans. Whoop! Nice. Swing neck breaker. No, when I was in school, I wrestled, I did soccer and all that, so I, I never went through an emo phase, but I did rock the Janko jeans, I sagged my shorts and shit. It was back in those days, man, when, you know, and my parents didn't fucking care. I just did it because I thought, you know, because everyone else was doing it. You know, like, I was, I was wearing flannel and jeans before... Nirvana hit, so when it came out, everyone was like, wow, you're dressing like the style. Yep. I'm like, no. Yep. The style is we're poor. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Just style is so... so we can afford jeans and fucking flannel. Yep. And it's cold in winter. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I... I grew up poor, too. I grew up dirt poor, so, you know. It is what it is. Yep. Oh, shit. Ooh. What? Oh! God damn! It busts on your face <laughs> with my buttocks. Yes, it's some Tino stink face. <laughs> oh shit! You know what I should do for him is just give him a shit ton of like finishers, like the people's elbow, the stunner and shit, and be like the Santino <laughs> stunner. <laughs> Santino Bata <laughs> The People's Cobra Oh my lord Oh sh there you go Dead poets pulling a, uh, pulling a win Jesus Oh cut into the ring Corny Damn, that was a lo that, that was a bad loss for uh, Jimmy and Jay. Looks like the, he's blaming his brother for the loss. Uh oh. Could this be the end of a tag? Oh no. Oh no, it's that's like you and my brother no longer, brother. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Who knows what's gonna happen next? And up next, so speaking of the Dead Poets Society, Mark Henry, um, which I, I will say that, um, you know, me and you saw him backstage and everything, um, he's not acting himself as of lately. He's walking around, his vibe is diff, diff, different that he's given off, and um, I hope that doesn't affect him against uh, this, uh, this match against the leader of the Dead Poets Society. Yeah, me neither. I wonder if he's in talks to join AEW. I... Well, <laughs> my God! I never want to hear those three initials. Taking everybody. <laughs> taking everybody from me. It's not my fault, man. Vince didn't keep the contract. <laughs> so. And I will die on this hill for the right. I, I will say this until the day I die. That is a l. That is a elephant on the back of Mark's back. Yeah, but don't worry. You can always keep Jablarney. <laughs> ah! Oh! Boom! Jesus! Clubbing meaty elbow to the back of Mark Henry's neck. Mark it up, man. Oh shit! Mama said, "Knock you out." Brian ain't coming to play. Nope. Mark Henry, show your strength. Oh, we're running into a wall. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, power bomb. Nope, not a power bomb. 
now kind of work the Ooh. back and shoulders of Daniel Bryan, but I mean, he's a submission specialist, able to slip out of that like a, like a snake. Yep. Like at the Cobra. Or a, an American dragon. <laughs> you are the dragon from America. And I, something, you know, I'm the dragon of Milan. Oh my god. The, the <laughs> We can be double dragons. The stallion from Italia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Santino, when Santino wins the gold championship, you're going to lose your fucking mind. It will be fantastic television, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's like, oh, Santino, big gold champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, there you go. Ooh, pressing Daniel Bryan like he was a set of weights. Whoa! Well, where is Dropping him to the ground. Oh, is this going to be the uh, the weekly count-out match? Oh, someone has to be. Whoa! Oh, well, we're already up to an eight count. Oh, okay. Just hitting the eight. Okay. Whoa, pick him up. But again, Dean and Brian not gonna let that affect him too much. No, sir. Oh, damn. For I'm every one step forward that Mark down. takes, Dan Daniel ma makes him take two steps back. Yeah, it's where you can see the the perfect positioning of technical versus strength. Yes. Whoop. Oh, in the corner. Oh. Daniel! Nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, still a one count. So I gotta ask, what's the difference? Oh, well, wait. Wait. Get out of it, Mark. Fuck! Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like Mark Henry tapping out. Oh, no. Daniel Bryan. <sighs> Fuck. Excuse me. Sorry. Damn. So, Dead Poets Society, all three of them walk out with a victory. Yep. Like I told you, man. I told you back when I when I was explaining why these guys would make a powerful team. Look at that. Even though he's a part of an Evo lifestyle, he's still a gracious and hospitable opponent. Yes, sir. Damn. Fuck, dude. I was thinking maybe Mark Henry would run up and slam him from behind. Right? That's what I thought. And ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle, for some reason, is not our main event tonight. He's in a match against Drew McIntyre. Definitely didn't see that one coming. I mean, but also... What we didn't see uh, com coming was Gregory Helms stepped up to Kurt Angle to fight for the world title. Uh, we thought it was going to be a squash match that so he was just going to lay, lay, lay down to everything. But he it seems like he was winning and Kurt told him to not win. And he just laid down and let him win. Yep. A very, very mysterious maneuver by Gregory Helms. I thought he had a bit more of a conscience than the... To, to just do the bidding of Kurt Angle. Yeah, seriously. Then again, like, look at the career of Kurt Angle. Like, if Kurt says to jump, you say, how high? Speaking of jumping. Nah, man. If, if Kurt tells you to jump, tell him, nah, man, I got Percocet. I got <laughs> Percocet. You want Percocet? For that broken neck you got. <laughs> For that broken freaking neck. <laughs> Do you know at one point Kurt Angle won a gold a gold medal with a broken freaking neck? Yeah, that's what I heard. It was a broken freaking neck. Uh, we heard that. Oh my god. I just couldn't believe it. And, uh, me neither. That sounds incredible. I don't think it's true. But you never know. We could look at the taste, I suppose, and see if he had a broken freaking <laughs> Oh. Nice. Shit. Drew. That's not normally what I say when I see a shit. I usually go, why did you shit? Or pick up that shit. Not oh, like my, shit. Oh, my <laughs> God. 
when I'm I telling you, Jericho's not in the building, man. <sighs> no, Kurt. Shit. Oh. Boom. Good God. Slapjack right down onto your freaking face, Mr. Angle. I mean, if Drew McIntyre beats our big gold champion, then Drew should get a world title match as well. I would, I would tend to think so. Isn't that what those uh, new WWE uh, Super Qualifier 5000 matches are? Do one of them. You gotta beat the champ twice in order to actually qualify to then challenge them at a pay-per-view for the title of your choice. Damn. Some crazy bullshit rules like that. <laughs> Flip Fuck. a coin, and if it's tails, then maybe you can get a match. Oh! Future Shock. Two. Oh. Only a two count. Oh, Kurt. Kurt be hurting. Curtain is a hurting. Snap. He is the hurt angle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, work the art. There you go. Oh, but Kurt. Fuck. Kurt's matching him. Yeah, he had that scouted. Damn, Kurt. Woo! Awesome, Kurt. Kurt's on the top of his game tonight. Definitely throwing punches and taking kicks. Whoop! Uh, a true warrior. Oof, even taking suplexes and a broken freaking neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Kurt! Uppercut. Boom, European uppercut from Kurt Angle taking the behemoth Highlander down. Yes, sir. Oh, DDT, busting him open. Bam, DDT that breaks open with Drew McIntyre in the center of the ring, but still not enough to keep him down. No. Oh, no. <laughs> shit. Tossing him. All right, y'all need to get in the ring. Ooh, nice. I'm okay with it on the outside. I'm, I'm not like you. I just... <laughs> there you go. Kurt Angle gonna yep. drag him to the center of the ring and then go for a cover. Nope. Took oh, fuck. Drew taking advantage. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, I thought it was going for a triple German. That would have been sweet, my friend, but nope. Kurt Angle not quite able to take it off. Nope. So then just going to club, ring clubbing blows down on his, uh, his battered opponent. One, two, not quite enough to get the job done. No, sir. You're going to go for it again? Oh, Even shit. Maybe going to go for an angle slam this time? Yes, sir. Nice. Boom. Good night, Drew. Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh, this is the problem with wrestling nowadays. The guy takes 19 fucking finishes. <laughs> yeah, we just start. We need to start protecting um, fin finishers. Oh, yeah. I mean, remember, like, back in the golden days where a simple uh, D -D 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 DDT would put you away? It should, man. Dropping someone on their head with their full body weight behind it or a pile driver? Yep. Same thing. Done. There was a there was a UFC fight where someone went for a, a double leg take takedown. They picked them up right right on their shoulders and they like dropped them. But when they dropped, their head bashed right right on the mat and they knocked themselves knocked out. Down. Like yeah. Like, like yeah, a, a DDT can one thousand percent knock you out. It shouldn't be a beginner's basic move. Dude, a slap could knock you out. Yes. I saw this video of these two dudes in prison or something. This one like tweaky little tattooed dude and this huge black guy. Yeah. And he's like lining up the slap and he goes like, look. 
don't move. He's like, don't hit my nose. I don't want you to break my nose. Like, don't move. I won't hit your nose. Just one whack to the side of the head. Yep. Motherfucker passed out, hit the door, was on the ground like... Arr! Yeah, I don't fucking get it, man. Like, I get it. This is entertainment, but... They can... You, you can knock somebody out with these simple moves. Yeah. I mean, you, you always want to do a little bit of the one-upmanship, but I mean... You shouldn't... Like, by the time a second finisher hits you, for sure, you shouldn't go beyond that. But no. Those matches that are like... Ten finishers later, it's like, come on. Yep. You're just ruining it. Yep. I mean, worst case, if you want the match to go on longer, don't do your finisher yet. Just do some other fucking moves first. Ooh, Drew Lutton, Kurt get back in. You need to capitalize on it, though. You can't just let him get in and then you fuck yourself. Yeah. Well, Kurt also has age as his disadvantage. Yep, yep. Ooh, nice. Kick him in the... Oh! Doesn't matter. Huge headbutt. Knocking Kurt out. Oh, 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 Kurt. Still not quite. Look at the blood pouring down Drew's face. Yep. Oh, fuck. Nice. Nice clothesline. Nice clothesline. But you have to capitalize on it. Yeah. You can't let it slide. You can't sleep on it. Nope. There you go. Post him back in, there you go. Dude, brother, if you want to be future big gold champion, you can't, can't fuck around. This is a new SmackDown. Whoop! It's a new day, yes it is. <laughs> it's a new down, yes it is. <laughs> it's a new down, smack it is. Indeed. Smack your bitch up. <laughs> Lay the smack it down on these candy asses. <laughs> Eggs, fucking exactly. Boots to asses, brother. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Can you smell her with the Morella? He's a cookie. <laughs> it's fancy pasta. No, it's a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> with mini hot dogs in it? No, no, no. Just the pasta and the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Whoa, nice. There you go. Yeah, taking him outside again, much to Brock's dismay. I fucking hate outside work. So goddamn much. And on behalf of those of us who support the landscaping community, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> With all the ones that have taste besides Brock? Um, I do apologize. <laughs> Brock has zero taste. Um, he's... Well, I'm sure he tastes some things like peanut butter and jelly. Listen. Uh, chocolate bars. Pineapple <laughs> on pizza. 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 Pineapple on pe pizza. Pineapple on pizza. There yeah. we go. Oh, we're at an Which, count. by the way, I have to say, I don't hate. It's just I believe that it belongs only on a Hawaiian pizza. To go with the ham. Oh, of course, Kurt. Kurt wasn't seeing it going his way, so we get a count out victory. There's your count out hey, victory. A win is a win. <laughs> that is true. Oh. Uh, As Chris Jericho will tell you. <laughs> I don't like how they call it the kill switch. I don't like how they still call it the kill switch. It will always be the unprettier for me. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like Cena's move will, will always be the FU to me. Yeah, me too. Damn, Kurt. So, while... Shit. While we let Kurt c celebrate his victory, we'll get ready for our main event. Um, but Booker T's bookend will always be the rock bottom for me. Oh. Okay. Well, it looks like... <laughs> yeah. Th yes, that is true. So, it seems like Kurt has something to say, so we'll let him talk and we'll get your input afterwards. Sounds good.
So, oh my god, so much to fucking unpack. So, did Kurt, since Kurt called Greg, Greg, Gregory out, and he invited him to tag, to, 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 to team up with him, does that mean Helms is now a part of the main event militia? I don't know if he's a part of it or just a pawn that's going to be used by it. I guess only time will tell. And then, as you can see by the title of uh, the match card, this is for, I guess, Kurt brought back the Million Dollar Championship. So was this his reward for laying down for him? Perhaps. I mean, it brings another uh, another piece to the board, and if he is going to be someone that's joining Mem, having more gold on your faction side is always a win. And then, last thing I gotta ask, last thing I gotta ask about this whole situation, this man is not a part of the roster. Davari is not a part of the roster. What does does this mean? He's just throwing small fish for for him to feed on. I don't think so necessarily. I think uh, I think Kurt Angle may have engaged the services of Ari and Davari to sneak into Ted DiBiase's home to steal that belt so that he could then present it to Gregory Helms. And, I mean, I think he's giving Davari the opportunity as well. If he were to beat Gregory Helms, perhaps he would have that belt and be a member of MIM. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, okay. I can sit with that. Well, shit, then let's assume that Helms is now a part of MEM. Let's just assume. Or I could mean, be. Are you, are you happy for him, or do you, do you wish... Because it seems like you think Kurt has different intentions. You think Kurt is using him as a pawn or whatever. So do you feel bad for Gregory Holmes or are you happy for Gregory Holmes? Well, I definitely feel bad for him because I, I prefer his hurricane gimmick. So anything other than that, and I always feel bad for him. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Greg, get out. Get back in. We already had one count out. Doing we don't need the in to. And out dance one Woo! more time tonight. Snap bear. Yeah, seriously, we we, we already had one count 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 out when we don't need a second for tonight. Indeed. Although if he wants to take lessons from Kurt Angle. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. It's like I'll beat him the same way you won your match to prove oh! it. Nice. Busted cutter. open by Davari. That was a beautiful cutter. Drilling him in the back. Gonna go to town Woo. with suplexes. Damn, Greg. And, uh, and whatever this is gonna be. Yep, nice, Outside. nice sidewalk slam. Listen, nobody does a better sidewalk slam than, than Kane. Indeed. I was getting ready to bitch you out if you didn't say Kane. Oh no, of course. The, <laughs> l l listen, the man is top notch when it comes to sidewalk slam. Damn. The way he picks you up and then, like, like walks wherever and throws you behind him yeah. while still holding on to you. Brother, that's fucking phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Whoa, nice. See, some people, they it's pick you up and they just... Outside. See, some pe people, they pick you up and just drop on their side. But no, Kane finessed it. Like, come on now. Yep. Like One. tossing a baby into the lake. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sink or swim, motherfucker. Oh, Santino. Santino's a phenomenal swimmer. Oh, Santino, he afloat because of his bigger balls. <laughs> Whoop. Oh. Shit. And Zaguri taking him down a peg. Oh, God. If this is Greg's, like, like initiation, he isn't looking that... Sh he, he isn't looking like he did the Great American Bash. He most definitely is not, my friend. Whoop! Oh, here we go. Fly. The hurricane flies, people. Here we go. Gregory! It's the hurricane coming through. Oh my god, nice. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Crash and burn. His, his promo backstage in the locker room with The Rock was, was always phenomenal. Oh yeah. As always. That being said, <laughs> we that? gotta get back to the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're at four. Pick him up. Oh! Went for a big boot of sorts. There you go. Post him back in. Woo! I'm gonna get him caught. 
caught up on those ropes. Yes, sir. That to his advantage. Yes, sir. One. Oh, one count. Okay, Greg. Okay. Okay. Oh, but he's exhausted, man. Jesus. I think they're both pretty tired now. Greg, reach for the ropes. Break it up. Break it up. Nice. Oh, there you go. Step Boom, up. I'm taking him down. It was like a step up in 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 Inziguri mixed with a Hurricane Rana. Indeed. There's the big boot. Yeah. Just trying to knock his block right the fuck off. Hell yeah. I mean, if you're all, all, also, we, we need to acknowledge if this is his step Roman towards. Roman Reigns as the tribal chief. No, no, we're never going to. But anyway, um, if this is his way of initiating into the main event militia, like he needs to step his shit up, like with the likes of Booker T, Nash, Samojo, and Kurt Angle, like he can't stick out like a sore thumb. Well, I mean, he can. It's not always bad to stand out from the pack. You know what I mean? Like, he could be groomed to be the next leader to take over Kurt Angle's position uh -huh. if he retires. True. But uh, you never know. And I mean, like, it is a, a growth process, right? He can't be expected to succeed right outside of the gate. This right. It's like a new quality, a new mode under new mentorship. Whoop! Oh, shit. Dropping him on his neck. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to fly. Ooh, two count. Break his vertebrae. Break his vertebrae. Vertebrae his shit. Come on. The vertebrae. Gregory Elms. Come on. Going again for that submission, but they're locked up in the ropes. Ref, come on. Rope break. Or is this extreme rules or something? No, it's no. This is regular match. He was fucking caught up on the ropes. That was bullshit, ref. I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> Dylan? Dylan, I was about to say Dylan. <laughs> Dylan is the reason for everything. Yep. Whenever there's shenanigans about, you can bet Dylan had something to do. No, he's probably out back smoking with, uh, with, uh, Rob Van Dam and everything. Man, in that hot tub with those chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Two... Three, perfect. And your new million dollar champion is Gregory Helms. So we'll let so we'll let him celebrate, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Kurt, not impressed. Oh, uh, uh, we'll, we're gonna get some answers next fucking week. Kurt, you got some explaining to do. We'll talk to you As next always, one. That being said, peace. Peace. <laughs>